Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lucy by the way. Hello. Sometimes I realise I don't actually say my name and some people might be like, who is this random girl? Well it's me, I'm the random girl Lucy and I mainly spend my time on YouTube talking about trophies which is exactly what we're going to do today. So if that's what you're here for because you read the title of the video then you're in luck. But before we get into that I just wanted to say for those of you who may not know, I now have a Discord channel so uh, you can talk about anything you like there. So there's a link in the description below uh, so you can continue this conversation or others, you know, let other people know if you're looking for trophies and stuff, you know, help each other out, which uh, I think is pretty cool and it's already sort of like getting started and stuff. So I'm a bit of a Discord new, I didn't know what was going on. But I've got some very uh, nice people that are helping me out and teaching me the ropes. So if you'd like to join in with that, then you can check out the, uh, the link. But today's video is going to be slightly different because I'm just going to sort of like talk about stuff. So it's more of like a podcast thing. So uh, if you have a trophy that you need to grind, now is the time. Load that bad boy up. You know, don't procrastinate anymore. It's time to earn that trophy while you listen to me talk about this. So what am I going to talk about? Well, I kind of had this idea of going through some of the trophies... Um, trophies going through some of the websites that I like to use when I do trophy hunting because a lot of people um, have asked me over the years and they asked me in Q&A's like oh uh, what kind of websites are you getting these stats from like when I do the uh, gaming wrap-up videos people ask me where I'm getting the stats from so I can show you all that uh, some people ask me if I have any tips and tricks I'm not sure if I really have any tips for trophy hunting because my personal like relationship with trophy hunting has just turned into more of a I just want to do it for the games I really love I'm not really into the chasing the numbers or trying to like get trophies as fast as possible that's not really what I like to do but I understand that's what other people like to do so that's why I don't really have any tips or tricks because I also the one thing that I really like to try and stand by is I want to play games first and foremost because I want to play the games and then the trophies come second. It's like, there was a time where it became all-encompassing, but now I'm sort of like, no, 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 I, I want to play games and if I want to get the platinum or the trophies, then I'll do that secondary. So we're going to be answering all sorts of questions like that. So uh, if that sounds like something you're interested in, then stick around. Uh, let's just get straight into it with our first website, my favourite website of all the websites on this quite a lot. So uh, let's go. So we're starting off with my favourite website, which is PSN Profiles. Now, the reason why I like this one quite a lot is because just really like the design of it like I'm gonna be looking over here because I've got my laptop open uh, rather than looking at my phone but I just like how it's got like a lot of pictures and stuff I'm a designer I like sort of looking at pictures and stuff so it's got a nice layout and everything so I'm on here quite a lot but mainly just because I like looking at how they present their trophy information so you've got the stuff at the top uh, some of my stats are a bit wonky on this uh, because I've got some hidden trophies I'm waiting for the PlayStation to let us one day delete our trophies, fingers crossed but it doesn't really bother me because I mean the stats are cool and everything, I used to be more into the stats a while ago when I was more like hardcore obsessed, now I just really like looking at this for you know just, just seeing what it's about, also someone very kindly once upon a time uh, gifted me uh, the, what's it, the premium uh, account, so thank you to that person, your name escapes me but I am forever grateful so what you've got over here is you've got like, you know, your stats going across here of what the latest trophies you earned. I think because I have this special, you know, I've got this premium account thing. I was able to make a trophy cabinet. Then you've got your rarest trophies here. Oh, it really annoys me that I'm on 69 ultra rare. But I know what number 70 will be, I think. It's got to be one of these Red Dead Redemption 2 trophies that I'm working on. Because those are pretty ultra rare, I think. But I've been stuck on that for quite a while. Sometimes I just stare at that number and I'm like, I wish I could be good enough to earn more ultra rare trophies, but alas, I am not. And then you've got all your milestones uh, down here. So I quite like all this information that you get. And it does update uh, quite regularly. And if you have an account, then you can... This is, by the way, not paid sponsor. I just realised that now I'm just talking about this website as if I'm like, you know, some ambassador for it, which I am totally not. So other trophy hunting sites are available, which we will see after this. So what I mainly do is when I come on here... Oh, actually, let's go through the bar first. So you got your games listed here. Actually, I really like looking at uh, percentage sometimes. So you can kind of see here. So this is... I don't know why Fallout 3 comes at the top, but I completed that in two years and one month and stuff. So it gives you quite good information. And so, actually, let's go back. I've just changed my mind about what I'm going to talk about. Let's go back to Last Blade. So most of the time, if I'm like, you know, I want to look at a game or something. So this is actually a question that a lot of people ask me. It's like, when I hunt trophies, do I look up the trophies before I play the game or afterwards? It's a little bit of both. Like, I'll take a look. So what I would normally do is actually... So you can go up here to games. Let's hope that this doesn't take forever to load. And you can type... So what's a game that um, I might want to play? Let's say Overcooked 2, because I do want to play Overcooked 2 at some point. So we type in Overcooked 2 over here. So this this is something like, this is like me just, you know, imagine me sitting in my bed, uh, just living my life without a camera. 
uh, click on the game and always, always, I always make sure that hid that trophies are hidden because I don't want to see any spoilers. That's the thing. So I, I really don't want to be spoiled because of trophies. So that's why I try. So I have a look through here and I'm like, okay, complete the story. Da, 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 da. Okay, get three levels start. So I'll, I'll have a little bit of a look through and, and see, oh, there's some DLC and that uh, and see what's going down and what I think about it. But I'm not going to, I wouldn't commit. So would I? I am going to play Overcooked 2. I'm waiting for my sister re to return from New Zealand. So I really want to play it with her. I don't know. It doesn't feel the same playing alone. Uh, so I, I am going to play it, definitely. Would I get the plan? I don't know. It depends how much I enjoy it. So that's the kind of thought process that I have when it comes to am I going to commit myself to earning the plan? So this is what I do. But then the other thing I like to do is I go over here to order and I click rarity by PSN profiles. So they have two types of rarities. They have like the one from people that have registered on the site and then the one that, uh, this is the PS, the, the PlayStation uh, official one that you can find on your console. So I like looking at order of rarity just to see what is the quote unquote hardest ones that people sort of get lost. So like the so complete the tutorial level. Everyone seems to do that. It's got quite a high percentage. And that's kind of how I go about sort of deciding what sort of like, oh, what is the hardest ones? Like I did it for Resident Evil. I had a look. Oh, let's go back to me a sec. Uh, okay. Now this is one that I check out a lot. Red Dead Redemption 2. So then the other thing I will do is while I'm currently playing a game. Oh, I don't know why Hide Secret Trophies is not remembering. Um, order... I will get this platinum one day. I have reached a slight snafu where I've had to load back an older save and lose progress. So here you go. I can see I've got most of the trophies that a lot of people get. And it seems that the trophies people seem to get last is this 70, um, getting 70 gold medals, which I'm actually kind of working on at the moment. So I think my last trophy will probably be more attain 100%. So I feel like by that I sort of have a look at the rarity, have a look at what these end trophies are and from that I might sort of make a decision about uh, what I'm going to do. I also really like over here you've got some other sort of facts about the game so you can like see here when you earned your first trophy, when you earned your last trophy and what the gap is and stuff. So uh, these are the type of things. Oh, there's also a forum. Not that I really go on the forum at all, but I might just, you know, if I'm looking at something... Have a look at what people are talking about. Like, for instance, this easy 70 gold medals. I think I did click on this. And someone made a very good spreadsheet, which I have been following, which sort of calls out which um, which missions are the easiest to do. And uh, I've been following that. So I do like a good bit of spreadsheeting. Oh, and they have guides and everything on here as well. So that is that's the basics of what I do when I'm on here. And also you can go across here. I do like looking at the trophy log. So that tells you the trophies that you've just you've recently got. So you can see like a whole thing here. And uh, what I like to do for this is I like to click platinum. And then sometimes I'll just have a look at the order, and that's how I sort of have a like get some of the things up for the wrap up. Uh, you can do, so you can do all sorts of things here. It's really good. And then you've got the trophy advisor, which is also quite interesting. Um, what have we got here? So. I used to have like the Tomb Raider, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider trophies here ages. Actually, sometimes yeah, if I'm like thinking about, oh, I feel like, do I want to play a game or do I feel like earning a trophy? Do you ever have that where you just feel like you want to earn a trophy day? I had that today. I just was like, mm, I just want to earn a trophy today. So that's why I booted up the Lost Legacy and just earned some trophies. Um, so yeah, I've got these Death Stranding ones here and some Call of Duty. This one's, I'm never going to get that. But sometimes I'm like, mm, I wonder what I can earn a trophy in. Oh, now this is something that I like to do now that I'm thinking about it. So sometimes I'll look at this trophy advisor and I'll go, so there we go. This is what I look at when I think, oh, if I can earn an ultra rare trophy. So we can click on what, what ultra rare trophy could I earn? So I'm, um, see, there we go. I'm hoping to get this, but oh, that's, that's rising. That's only, on a, that's not going to be ultra rare for very long. I'm working on that. Some of these I'm going to never, ever get. So I quite, I quite like looking at this a lot, even though it never really changes or looking at um go back to all it's like it's like always having like a not a life coach but it just sort of it just gives you a gentle advice on uh so sometimes i'll look at platinum and be like mm, what platinum does it think i should get so i've got like you know concrete genie here that it's saying is the out of all the trophies that i could earn it's saying that this is the one that i should probably next earn as well as persona 5 dancing uh, how come they haven't got Life is Strange here? That should be an easy one, surely. Life is Strange 2. Oh, there it is, there it is. 
And for those of you wondering why I haven't platinumed Life is Strange 2 and Concrete Genie, I am going to get round to them. It's just they're not Road to 100 worthy. I, I just want I want the creme de la creme, or at least ones that have a bit more of an interesting light. For, th for those two, it's literally that I just need to go and pick up a collectible. And that doesn't make a very interesting story. I'm like, hey everybody, I'm just going to pick up this collectible. Bling, done. It's it's. So that's what I'm going to do is after I finish it, I'm just going to clean up all of these. So that sometimes interests me. Now we can do the... the Wait, what do we... Is that the ones that... What's at the very bottom? What's the hardest platinum trophy? Super Meat Boy, obviously. Never getting that. See, look here. It has like achievers and, you know, the thing. So quite a lot of people own that. I did really want Lego Rock Band once upon a time. Did try really hard for that. And uh, the Rude 2K13. So yeah, that's uh, the trophy fires a bit. And then we got the stats over here. I don't really look at this as much either as I used to because it doesn't really change. But I just really like how they like graphs and stuff. And it's all colourful and that's why I like it. So we can see... Oh, look at this! 69 and 69. I've got like... I've made it half and half of PS4 games and PS3 games. Well, that's probably going to change soon because I probably will buy a new game at some point on PS4. And then you've got your amount of trophies and then it broken down into points. I think these go by the actual points that the system, like the actual PlayStation system has. So... The bronze are worth less than the silver, for instance. Uh, rarity, my completion. I'm not really um, someone that's into having uh, a high completion rating on whether I'm completing this. I mean, 72%, if I did care, I'd be like, mm, I'm happy with that. But it wouldn't really bother me too much if it was lower. I'm quite, I'm quite happy about that. I do have one rule, though, which is based on this site. This site kind of because it kind of has a, like a listing of A to S, which you can see here actually. Here we go. Uh, the game ranks so you can get an F in a game, which is when you get no trophies, or an E to an S. Now, this kind of bugs me actually because I understand how averages work, but look at that it's 71 and 59. But I've got an average of an A. I mean, I feel like it should be an S, but okay, whatever. But the one rule I have is I can never ever have an F. I don't mind having an E, I don't mind having a D, I just don't want any Fs on my profile. That's if I'm going to have to have a rule. That is the one. Uh, so that has kind of deterred me in the past from games. But then the thing is, you could just like... Well, it's not even the fact of having an F. I don't... Mm -hmm. Now I'm trying to think, how do I feel about having one trophy in a game? I think in Gravity Rush 2 I have two trophies. I'm letting it go, I'm letting it go. I mean, I think I used to have more of a complex about this rubbish. But now I'm like, no, no, no. We just need to we just need to enjoy our lives and just play what you want to play. Uh, we've got the monthly activity. This is quite interesting. I do quite like looking at this. Look, here we go. The dark era. Look at that. Dece December 2014, that was bad. That was a bad time. Uh, but as you can see, things have kind of slowly waned over time. I haven't done I haven't done anything this month. It's been pretty poor. January is pretty good in February. So that's quite nice. This graph here means nothing to me. I, I understand what it's trying to say. I guess you can kind of stop and see what your stats were on a certain day. But visually, it's just telling me that things went up, which I know because I've played. It's, ne it's never going to go down because it's always amount like, I guess if you stop playing, it would plateau, I suppose. And then we got, oh, I do like looking at this, actually. The trophies by time. So you can see here, it's, it's more interesting to come back and look at this when you haven't looked at it for a while and see how things have changed. I remember when I was at university, my times were wildly different because obviously uni time, you had loads of time in your hands. Oh, I've earned seven, seven trophies at 8am. Now, the one thing, if I could uh, submit some feedback, I would like to be able to click on this and be able to find out what those seven trophies are that I earned at 7am. I do know I have a trophy that I earned at 3am, but it's not showing. I think it's so small, I can't see it. Also, sometimes the daylight savings and that change things. But as you can see here, most of my trophy hunting times happen in the evening. Apart from at 7 o'clock, because I'm usually eating dinner at 7 o'clock. So, and I'm watching telly back then. But I used to earn a lot of trophies. I think in the in the good old days, I used to earn a lot of trophies late at night. And then here, as you can see, Sunday is the big trophy day. It used to be Tuesday, because that was my day off on uni. So that used to be, like, well high. Uh, and then Friday's low, because I used to go to my grandparents on a Friday. Now I'm now I'm out on the town on a Friday. I wish. Uh, um, yes, yeah, so it's, it's normally the, the weekends that... Also, because I like to have a thing that I dub Collectible Sunday, where it's like, Collectible Sunday, where I'll just like chill out and do some collectibles and listen to stuff. Um, more, yeah, more Saturday is more of a, a story, story... What do we call it? Storyline Saturday and Collectible Sunday. Yeah, Saturday I think I might be more awake, whereas Sundays you just want to chill. 
So there you go, I think that is everything that I normally do. Oh, it's level history, of course. I actually, this is very interesting. This is very interesting. <laughs> well, it is to me. Uh, I just really like this graph that sort of shows you when you earned a trophy, but it's all based on obviously uh, their site and when you get it. I used to write this stuff down in a notepad. I probably could pull that up at some point. And then I discovered that this site sort of does it for you, so I stopped doing it. But uh, I did used to like to make a point of what the trophy, the tipping trophy was. And I actually, it is kind of um, weird. There, there became a point when I could see that I was only 20 away from like a milestone. And because on the um, on the main page, it shows you your milestones. And I liked them to be organic. But then it became a point where I started thinking about it so much that I was like, oh no, I'm only five trophies away from 500. Let's, I can't, I can't look because I don't want to... I don't want to manufacture my 500th trophy. I mean, sometimes I did, but other times I just wanted it to come naturally. So uh, it became a whole thing, which is slightly ridiculous. But some of the ones like this time time one, I wanted that to be my 30th platinum. But something like Naps Over by Guacamole, I think that was that was just a natural one. But did I know at the time I was playing Guacamole on turnover? See, that's this is all just going into madness which i'm trying to i'm trying to i'm trying to cut down on the madness so there we go that is psn profiles let's just move on to the next website that i like to use so next up we've got a, a website that i've been getting into a bit more over the last couple of months slash year and that is true trophies now this one is slightly different in the way it's laid out so that's what i'm saying like whereas psn profiles i really like that because it's quite a visual looking website this one is very much more hardcore stats okay if, if if PlayStation, if, if they had jobs, PSN Profiles would be a designer. Uh, True Trophies would be more of a developer, is how I would uh, describe them. So uh, here we go. So this is my uh, profile. Now you've got this sort of like timeline feed here. There's, there's a lot going on on this website, actually. I haven't, I haven't really done a very deep dive into it too much because it's almost slightly overwhelming. But you can like follow people on this and you can see what they're up to. You can comment and stuff, and uh, which is quite nice. You've got, uh, so those are my friends here that people have sort of followed me. Uh, I do like this trophy streaks thing. That's what I've discovered recently, which is quite interesting. And what's this? Platform summary. Um, 26 days on November. See, I told you, 2014 was bad terms. Uh, my best games and best trophies and stuff. Oh, recent score changes. Oh, yes, that's what this website has, which is, again, as I, I don't know if I said it in this video already, but I'm not. I don't really care about leaderboards and stuff. That doesn't really bother me. That's not something that I'm into. I understand totally why some people are because it's like the competitive sort of nature of it. But that, it just, I'm just not, not fast. I just like to trophy hunt for myself. But this website has its own sort of um, point system, which I don't quite get. Uh, but you know, if that's your thing, that's quite interesting. I think that's what this is here. It's a sort of a score and a ranking. So let's uh, take a look. So you can look at your games. I don't know what all those stats there are. That's quite nice. I quite like how that's that's laid out quite nicely. So there you go. I think... What is... Oh, I think that's how many points I have. Oh, my God. See, I'm telling you, it's like proper maths on this website. <laughs> There's fractions we're doing over here. So 20 over 45 equals uh, 367 over 1,839. Uh, okay. Interesting. I wonder what happens if I click on... Let's click on Borderlands 3. Let's see what... Let's go into it. Oh, okay, that's quite nice. I like how with the other one, I'm like, yeah, I know my way around it. And this time I'm more like, ooh. This, oh, I can rate it. Uh, for all this. Okay, so. Oh, that's when I unlocked it and the time. What can I do with this? On like, these trophies we take. Oh, okay, these are quite nice little stats here. Uh, single player, these trophies can be obtained with dare, cooperative, and level. These trophies must be obtained by leveling up. Oh, that's a story one. So there you go. This is actually really nice. I like this a lot. What's this? You've got these little, like... Huh. Maybe I could start looking at this a bit more often. But there you go. That's that's quite a nice thing that this uh, this site offers. We've got some information here. Purchase options. What else have they got down? Trophy list revealed. Uh, zero. Okay, yeah. Trophy distribution. What does that mean? This is the overall win distribution. Gamers with zero trophies. What is happening? Oh, so most people have that? Oh, okay, so a lot of people complete the game and then this must be DLC? I don't know. 
I don't know what's going on. Completion estimates. Oh, I like a I like a little graph. So estimates twenty five hours to thirty hours. This seems quite wildly. Then people sort of stop and, huh? And then there's like a leaderboard. I don't know how do you. Oh well, the leaderboard can't. These are all people that have got the same amount of points. Curious, very curious. But I like that a lot. So there's a forum, a walkthrough reviews. Cool. Okay, I like that. Uh, let's go back to me because there are some nice there are some nice graphs coming up I think so we've got trophies here oh so this is my uh, okay this is all the trophies that I've earned in order we've got some filter options here so we include DLC trophy type so it's the same sort of things that you had on PSN profile sort of thing but um, a few different options that you can go through so we're not going to Let's not go through that again. Goals. Now this is so if you like like me a good. I've never done this. Maybe I should do this. But I think I think I would do it. But I like the physical world. This is if you're into the digital world, then maybe this could be your trophy logbook. Let's create a goal, shall we? Ba ba da. But please note that regular users can have to three goals active. Okay. Please choose a goal type. We're, this is we're having. Maybe at the end of the year we'll see what my goal. Personal goal, competitive goal. No, I want to do a personal goal. I'm not. The thing is, I'm not. I don't like to be competitive. I used to, I used to be more competitive in my youth, but I've just given it up. A true a trophy level, trophy true level, trophy ratio, trophy one, platinum's one, gold one. Okay, so we've got all these different things to pick from. Let's do a trophy level. Well, I want to get to level twenty nine. Set my target twenty twenty nine. My current level is twenty eight point seventy. Oh, I like that. Oh, set a date. Oh damn! How long? Do, how, hmm. So that's like I've got thirty. Almost a twenty. Thirty percent more to go. Do you think I could do it in three months? Is three months uh March, April, May, June? Depends. I'm gonna I'm gonna set myself the first of June. Oh, now I have to say I have to say something to myself. Hey, Lucy. Uh. Uh. I don't even know what to write. Uh. Oh, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's. We we've got we've got the goal. The goal is one hundred. We want to get. Platinum 100 before the end of the year. That is that is the dream. Should I make it a birthday platinum? I don't know if I can do that, actually. December 2022. No, we don't want to go that far in the future. Uh, right. Oh, look, it's removed my colours. Right, hey, Lucy. Get your ass in gear and reach 100 plats before the end of the year uh, yours faithfully <laughs> I do realise you're supposed to write sincerely when you know the person Lucy from the form from the past so look this is this is how I write emails all the time uh, hey Lucy from the future and then when we get to the wrap up video, uh, I'll keep the caps locks to signify. Uh, get your ass in gear and reach one. No, we not pure punctuation. Yours faithfully, Lucy from the past! Exclamation point. Always, always have an exclamation point. Uh, create goal. I mean, I've realised that I've given myself five year, five years, uh, the whole year to earn five more platinums. But let's do it. Right, here we go. What happens now? A total of 100 platinums won by 31st of December 20. Uh, an increase over 5 over 200. <laughs> wow. So I've got 298 days to do this. I think I've pretty much... I'm, I think I should do it. If I don't do this, that, that is a big fail. God, we've made so much progress today. I feel, already feel like... Oh, set myself some goals. A blog? I could write a blog. Well, we're doing that. We're living... I'm living the, I'm living the vlog. So there you go, you can do all that. I've still got some quite nice... Now, here's the meat and bones. 
but uh, it's taken me eight minutes to get here. So you've got some nice sort of uh, stats here. But the thing is, again, all of the uh, all of the stats are in kind of their... Oh, you can break... oh, I forgot to show you that you can break it down by year on PSN profiles. But, you know, I guess this is sort of breaking out more. But you've got your completion, you've got your trophy rating thing, and then your score, which again... Uh, so this is how I find out some of the things. So like, let's see how, how well have I been doing this year. So January, oh, I, oh, there we go. We could change it to trophies one because that's what I'd like to know. 85, 35, and there's my, my little graph. So, so far I've won 120 trophies out of eight games this year. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, what's in the trophies bit? Oh, okay, and this is telling me which were the best ones. I can't, oh, uh, the best ones I've earned, which is platinum, splatinum, ghost of a chance. There's a lot of Resident Evil things. Hmm, okay. Games, probably be... Oh, no, well, this is... Oh, so I've won the most trophies in Resident Evil and things, so... Oh, so these are all the games that I've earned trophies in this year. You see, look, hashtag year of the backlog. I've not, yeah, I've not played a single brand new 2019 game. 2020 we're in, let's not, lest we forget. Uh, best days. Oh, I love looking at best days. I think I have a brand new best day as well. Oh, no, I don't have a brand new best day. I thought I beat my best day. Hmm. Oh well, eighteen of January is a brand new best day, I suppose. So I have, I've had, a, I've had, a, I have had a best day. It's the best day, right? Uh, what's this? Milestones. Oh, okay. So these are their own milestones where it's like XP earned and levels and complete games and stuff. So that's what I'm saying. There's some like hardcore deep facts that we can get into here, and then there's a forum as well. Now, before we move on from this website, there is one other cool thing that I really like about this, and that's at the end of the month, they will send you an email that gives you like a wrap up of uh, what you did this month. So it will say like each game you played. I will find an old email to show you, but it'll be like the games you. It'll literally like this. It's literally a summary of what we just went through, which is the the games you played, the trophies you earned, your best trophies, and then how you ranked with all your friends that month. Which I really like. I always uh, enjoy receiving that email at the end of the month. So if that sounds like something uh, you're into, then I would definitely sign up to this. So now let's move on to website number three. So this is a slightly different website that I like to use, and it's called How Long To Be, and it sort of gives you an idea of how long games take. So sometimes I'll look at this uh, to kind of give myself an idea of how long it might take me to uh, play a game. So let's look at Red Dead Redemption, shall we? So it's saying the main story is about 47 hours, but if you're doing all the extra stuff, it's uh, 76, and then a completionist is 161. Oh, and this is the other thing as well. I literally just created an account just now. Like, I used to actually use this site a lot, but um, I never actually logged in and I started having to look through all the things and it's like, what? So I can now add this to my profile. This is, again, this is going to be a learning experience, kids. Uh, platform optional. You can play Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Atari 780. There you go. But we haven't been, no, we, I'd like to play it on the PS4, thank you. PlayStation 4. I'm currently playing it. Uh done i think right let's look at it i want to look at it so this is what i quite like about uh this is that not only does it tell you the amount of time and stuff but it breaks it into like different play styles so you've got what the average so what we just saw then was the averages but then you've got like a medium or a rushed or a leisure so a lot of the time i'm going to be playing i know that i'm going to be playing red redemption leisurely so i'm probably looking at for completionists 271 hours which i can believe oh and it makes me so sad as well that because rockstar also have their own social club thing which goes through this is now just turned into red dead redemption to the gush uh but they have their own website stats thing but my one doesn't say how long i've been playing the game for and it makes me so upset it just says zero hours wait let me let me go into that quickly oh <gasps> Oh my god, my stats are there. Okay, I'm gonna have to blur out some of the spoilers in case, but I can't believe it. It used to say zero hours. Oh my god, I'm really happy. So, so far I've been playing the game for three days, 15 hours and 12 minutes. <laughs> I have 91.3% complete. Wow, this makes me so happy. When I complete Red Dead Redemption 2, we can go through all of this. I'll I'll just go for a hardcore into Oh my god, I'm so happy that I can finally see that because it used to say zero. How long is that? It's like 72 hours plus 15 hours plus 12 minutes. Wow. 
so 72 so that means if okay so i'm still not quite there yet am i no 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 definitely not it's more like here main plus extras completionist but that's also not that's not counting actually because that's just sort of talking about the story because if you go to uh where do i how can i change to lucy rose i like being lucy rose uh, so what's my time here? So that's 56 hours. So that's three hours. No, three days. So 72 plus 50 something. Oh, God. S 72 plus 56 is... <laughs> I'm really bad at mental maths. Um, so that's 112... Yeah. It's over 120 hours in total uh, that I've been playing Red Dead Redemption 2. It's quite a lot of one's life. But uh, yeah, oh my god. I'm just so happy that we've that I've discovered this stat is there. And it's not over yet, kids. There's a, there's a lot to go and I have to go, as I said earlier, I have to go back. So this is what I like to do. I like to sort of... Then you can get a good sort of sense of an idea if I'm going to buy a game. So maybe I should do a game that I... Oh, this is new. Is this maybe because I have an account now? What is this? Based on user ratings, competitive... Oh, so this is the multiplayer. So that takes about 30 hours. So I'm already... If the average is 30 hours and I've already spent 56 hours and I'm only on level 36, that's long. Um, so yeah, I quite I quite using that as kind of like a baseline of... Uh, that's all I really look at, to be honest. But let's let's see. what what is there a game in my backlog that I would like to play? That... Okay, well, I'm currently playing Borderlands 3. Okay, here we go. So this is the kind of thing that I would look at if I wanted to get the plan for this. I'm not decided if I want to get the plan for Borderlands. I mean, it's probably simple enough. I do want to complete the game at least. And then if I've only got a few to mop up at the end, then I might as well do it. Uh, so main story plus extra is completion. So it's about 50 hours. See, I like how they got a rush on. So that's I'm not going to be rushed. It's at 60 hours. No, I know what we're looking up. We're looking up my hell. You know what it's you know what's coming. You know what time it is. If I know how to spell it. Woo! There we go. Assassin's Creed Origins. Completionists. Rush takes you fifty eight hours. Now I think my my uh I managed to see the stats for this game somewhere. I don't know if it shows you in the game or not. Can all can can we just put out a thing? Can we say that just all games has some kind of inbuilt stats? Because I would just like to see that stuff on the regular anyway. Uh, I think mine was about fifty something hours, and twenty of those were those damn question marks. Uh, so you got medium, you got so average is uh, eighty four, and then we've got speed run. So I don't know if there's any games that let's do Resident Evil, seeing as. That's a game that people speedrun. If I can spell Resident. Resident Evil is such a great title as well. It's so... um. Oh, okay. Let's do Resident Evil 2. It's quite... It's very good at... Just, it's an all-encompassing. It's not locked down to anything. Like Uncharted isn't locked down. Or The Last of Us. Which means you can change things. But when it's something a bit more like... Now I can't think of something that's a bit more relevant to someone. Okay, uh, there's a lot of games that, that come under this umbrella that I've just read. So like, like GTA, Red Dead Redemption. Okay, they all just can mean anything. So eight hours. Let's see what they've got on speedrun. Speedrun, average one hour, 56 minutes. Medium, fastest. Fastest is 53 minutes. Wow. Slowest is... I mean, is it even a speedrun if it's the slowest? But maybe you're doing a lot of things. Maybe you're doing a um, collectible, all collectibles speedrun or something. Speedrunning is something that I uh, commend. I don't really watch it. But I think it is a commendable activity that I enjoy that people are really good at. Especially, oh, actually, I do like watching a lot of people do the Dark Souls um, speedruns and stuff. So I think that's everything about this side. That's more of just a, if I'm thinking about buying a game or thinking about if I was going to uh, platinum it, then I would come to this site and just, you know, so I can get my own sort of average of how long it would take me. So there's that. All right, it's time to get dark out, so I should probably start wrapping this up. But we are on the final website, and that is playstationtrophies.org, which is... Uh, I used to go on this... I like, I'm a forum person. Well, I was back in the day. I don't really go on forums that much anymore, but I do enjoy I do enjoy the forum. I'm more of a lurker now. Uh, I used to be a bit more regular, but 
Uh, what I like about this is you can talk about other things, but I do like just looking at the trophy roadmaps. So let's again uh, look at look at Borderlands. Actually, most of the time I would probably just go over here and go Borderlands uh, free trophy roadmap. And then I'd go, yeah, go here. So this is the one that I want. And then you get some lovely soul has written out all of the stuff. So you get to see the, uh, what people sort of rate as the difficulty of this platinum, the amount of trophies. I see, I really do like this, this, I will look at this roadmap such overview once I've decided I want to get the platinum. So this isn't my, so this isn't the first place I go to. So I'm buying a game. I'm not going to go here straight away because I don't want to know what's going to happen in the game. I don't want to start following a guide. That's something I specifically don't want to do on my first playthrough. Like Persona 5, I would love to get the Platinum for that, but I would do it on a second playthrough. Like, Actually, that's a question because if I got Persona 5 Royal, which it is now called rather than the Royal, would I play it following a guide seeing as I've already played the game before? That's a tough one, because I would like to get the Platinum for it, perhaps. But I also don't know if it sounds fun playing the game with a spreadsheet next to me and having to follow. But then I have already played the game before, but then it's going to be slightly different. I don't know, I'd have to check out the trophies, which I think someone did actually link me. The trophies are live, and there's a couple of different ones, which is uh, cool. So maybe, I don't know. Um... So it goes through the missable trophies. Why is that one missable? Oh, okay, if it's done a cup. So anything that have glitched. So stuff like that I think is quite interesting just to double check. Uh, so then I would uh, take a look at some of this and then the walkthrough. I used to, actually, I used this website a lot when I was doing my Resident Evil uh, Platinum. So actually, let's, let's look that up because that's probably more helpful. Uh, Resident Evil. There we go, trophy. This was super helpful. I don't know if I would have got... Well, um, I definitely wouldn't have had an, the time I had. Like, this definitely helped make it easier. So I read all this stuff about, like... So here, they've broken down uh, the playthroughs that you should do. So they were saying, they should do the knife playthrough first. So they're doing the optimum. Like, if you want to just get this platinum and not sort of... But I'd already played the game twice before I came to the decision to platinum the game. So then I was like, oh, okay, they're saying to do the knife platinum, uh, the knife trophy uh, run first, and then these are the trophies that you get. So from this, I kind of sort of looked and took from it what I thought I could make my own, um, my own sort of playthrough. And just, yeah, look what they've done here. So I'm just, re I'm now, I'm now just reading the page. So they did the invisible enemies. Oh, so they did the invisible enemies and the speed run at the same time as well. So this did actually kind of inform my decision to do that too. Uh, and then what they did down here is well, so these are all the trophies and stuff, and they've got little like guys how to do it. Uh, what's this? Boss day. Also, oh, that's a beating the bosses. This is very thorough. This is very good. My favourite thing though was they got this, the speed run guide. Like literally, I sat there on on my next playthroughs. I just had this open. And I was like, that's what I got to do. I got to do this, this, this. Because if you're already familiar with the game, this makes sense. So I just had this, and I would just sort of follow where I've got to go to get all that, and this was like the Bible to me when it came to Resident Evil. But yeah, I do really enjoy looking at this and um, seeing all the stuff. Now, this does beg the question, do I like text guides or video guides? Now, I kind of switch between the two. If I'm looking for something in particular, then I will type into YouTube, like, how to get this trophy, and then, because sometimes it's easier to watch something, but I was not going to watch a whole playthrough of someone playing this, for instance, because that would just be too long. So, do I like... I think collectibles, I prefer reading them because it's like, it's more annoying to watch a video, but a video is probably better in terms of showing you where the thing is. I flip back and forth between that. But that is basically everything on this website, I think. But what I do really enjoy, is I'll probably pull some things up, is when people put together those spreadsheets. And then I, when I get the spreadsheet, I sort of uh, save my own copy to my Google Drive. And then I can go through and edit it. I'm not sure what happens if someone... They probably don't make them as editable so that the whole world can edit it. But yeah, I'll just go and do my own thing and then put my own notes. So I've done it for Dark Souls 3, which I'm slowly making my way through. I'm doing it for Red Dead Redemption. Did it for the Dark Souls Remastered. That was good. So yeah, um, let's have a think about if there's anything else. Mm, no.
yeah, that's everything for for this website. And then, of course, you can just regular forum yourself about if you want, you know, if that's that's what you like to do, or you can just lurk like me. And that, I think, is pretty much everything I have to say on all the websites I use. It's pretty much those five. Uh, anything else has slipped my mind today and is not in my notes. So hopefully that was somewhat uh, informative, entertaining, possibly time passing. I uh, hope you got your trophy if you were listening to it while grinding a trophy. But if you have any questions or anything, you can just drop them in the comments below and I'll uh, tell you any other tips or whatever but uh yeah i just thought that maybe that might be useful because a lot of people seem to have not known the sites that i used when i pulled up those uh stats in my other videos and stuff and uh if you're really hardcore into like the stats and everything then you can find some really interesting stuff which we did today so uh i've already set myself a goal i made myself uh, an account on how long to be i don't know if i'll be using that though but i think it is quite cool that you can submit those bits of information to that site but it seems like a hassle and i found out my red dead redemption 2 stats i forgot god this has been a great however long this has been i don't know it's only about 50 minutes i think that i've been sitting here so you know um uh, that's everything i have to say today thank you so much for sticking it through to the end of the video as always when it's a long video you get a salute and i shall catch you all in the next one and until then earn some trophies and uh, just you know have a good life see you then